Hey everyone, Panem here again, and well, today as you guys can see, we don't have any background, and well, guess what? That's because we are actually going to make our own during the video today. We'll be opening something pretty big, and it contains stuff that will be used to make our background. So let's get started and we'll see what will happen. So uh, today we will be opening a Pokemon package. And uh, this I found at a very good discount during my trip to the US in a Walmart. So this is expensive, but I got it like at a very good discount, almost half priced, which is insane since this is somewhat recent while this is being filmed. And uh, so yeah, we have the Shining Legends Super Premium Collection, uh, starring OO -Oh as a GX. Uh, I think this is called Rainbow Rare. We have Shining Celebi, Shining Lugia, and Pikachu. We have a lot of stuff in here, uh, which will be used... Okay, there's nothing in the back. Sorry about that. Oh, it's on the side over here. Pardon me, guys. We have some deck box boxes or card boxes. We have a playmat, which will be our first Pokemon playmat for this channel. After uh, a few openings, it's good to have an actual playmat for those openings. We have this, which I'm not quite sure what it is. I think it's a... Uh, our art thing, a special booklet. We have some boosters, we have 10 boosters, and we have our promos and our little mini figure. So, uh, let's get this opened, and afterwards we can start building up our background with the playmat, with the miniature, with the foil cards, boxes, and whatnot. You know, we'll just go with it, and uh, as we go, we will build. Let's see how this opens. So this is just promotional cardboard or is it actual thing? Oh, I, I don't know. I'm just going to open it. Okay, this is big. Okay. Oh, this just comes out. I guess this one too. Okay. Well, that's off. Uh, this also comes off. So we have our packs and our promos in here. We'll put this upwards in the back for now. Oh, it won't stand on its own. We have our mat, which I will also open and review. We have our little special booklet. We'll take out this plastic. And we have our three boxes starring, I think this guy's name is Zoro Arc. Uh, we'll, we'll review them later. We have a red and a yellow one, which I think it's Genesect and Ar Arceus. We'll see when we open them. I'll just remove this big black box from the way. There we go, and uh, we'll put this aside for now too. Let's start with the mat, because we need something to open our cards on. So, uh, mat is taped? Is that a tape, or is it just a plastic ring? But, oh, okay, good, it's just plastic ring. Good, good, good. And we have our mat. Nice, I like the feel of it. It's just like our Yu-Gi-Oh mats we usually have. Oh, wow, it's beautiful. I like it. I was actually thinking of maybe buying this online, but then I thought to myself, if I ever find the actual box in which it comes from uh, still sealed and at a good price, I would actually just buy the box. And well, that happened before I actually got to uh, buying it online. So that's pretty nice. We have, uh, I'm trying to move my camera and not let it fall at the same time, but we have Arceus, Shining Mew, we have Shining Rayquaza, my big boy right there, I just love that guy. We have Jirachi, Shining. We have uh, Shining Oh, uh Shining Celebi, Shining Lugia right here. We have uh, Shining whatever the name of that big yellow guy is. And we have uh, Genesect, with, which I believe is also Shining in here. Uh, I might be wrong on a few of them, but you know guys, I'm not too familiar with anything that's past Gen 4. So... Uh, Please, you'll have to excuse a lot of uh, mistakes or possible mistakes we will be making here. We have a box of uh, storage box, basically, not a deck box, with Arceus on it. So uh, that will make some very cool decor, I guess. We'll put it over here for today. We have Genesect, which is the same box, but red. And we have Zoroark, which I guess we'll put in the middle right here. I think the name is Zoroark. I might be really wrong, like, it's probably wrong, but I think it's one of the new main uh, guys' uh, Pokemon, and I think the name is Zoroark. Not quite sure. Anyways, let's proceed with the rest. We have our Making of Shining Legends. 
So it's a very nice booklet, uh, cardboard style paper. Uh, very good feel, I like it. And ooh, table of contents. And we have, oh nice, 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 nice. So they are making the artwork for the new set. I like it. Do they have anything special on every legendary in here? Uh, anyways, Mewtwo is a very big focus. Oh, uh, unlike other cards, illustration for the Shining Pokemon series have to be drawn with thick lines. Okay, well, that's very cool. We have some instructions on a lot of uh, how they made them. Very nice. I like it. Artist bios. So we have some information on the artists for this set. That's pretty cool. Shiny Celebi. First take a new version. So there were multiple versions of Shiny Celebi. And original and new... Uh, New Shining cards, basically. Oh, oh, original Shining Pokemon card ga gallery. Nice. This is more my time. This was back when I collected Pokemon cards when I was quite younger. Oh, I like this. I like this. This is my type of Pokemon. Okay, well, this was a very fun booklet. I will actually keep this... Uh, Probably in some place very safe, not too far away from my collection room, probably even in my collection room. Moving the light closer because we don't have the box in the way anymore. And uh, before we open anything else, I'll just open this quick little thing I also got during my trip uh, to the US. Basically, it's nothing big, it's just a deck box, but it's my second Pokemon deck box ever. And uh, yeah, my first one was way long ago. And I just found this at like 2 or $3 dollars at a Walmart. I really just had to buy it. I don't really use these kinds of deck boxes that open this way. But I just had to. And you know, it's Snorlax, one of my favorite Pokemon ever. And uh, it came with a little separator. And if I ever start playing the game, I'll need an actual box that is still in good shape. And not like the ones I, uh, the one I used to have back in the days. So I'm, I'm glad we got this. Just for a cheap little investment in case we ever... Um, start giving more attention to Pokemon on this channel. But for now, we still have the main course of the opening vid. We have our packs and promos. And our little minifig. Right, almost forgot about that. Let's open this thing. How do we open this thing? Okay, there we go. I guess I'll put this aside for now. Remove the fig. I like this. This is a very nice quality fig. Very high quality miniature right here. Nice. Definitely this will be going on display somewhere in my collection room. But for now I'll put it right here. Because you know it's it's a minifig. You have to put it somewhere on display. But yeah, let's get our packs. One, two, three, four, and five. Ooh, nice. I like the three middle ones. All Pokemon I'm familiar with. Oh, and we have uh, one, two, three on this side, four and five on this side. Here we go. Oh, and we have, oh, we have some separators for our uh, boxes. Nice. How many of each? Are, are they all different? That would be even better. That would be awesome. I didn't even remember these were in. Oh, we have four of every, well, four of each of the colors, I guess. Okay, well, it's nothing big. The quality is decent, but it feels weird. I guess that's why they're being used as separators and not actual cards. And the background is just Shining Legends. But hey, we got some separators for our uh, boxes that will be used to store the Pokemon cards open on this channel because we have opened a few of them already, and all I had was a binder. So at least we'll be able to put our more generic stuff or our uh, less valuable stuff elsewhere than a binder. For our promos now, how do I get these out? Is it in the back? Okay, it's in the back. Let's start with this one. Shining Lugia. Look at that beauty. They have this... Oh, they're, they're textured, but only the Pokemon, not the whole drawing. Nice. I like this. This is a decent idea. I'm all for it. And this one should be a very good foil. Pikachu! I like it. It's like the secret rares a bit in Yu-Gi-Oh, but more um, spread out, I guess, you could say. We'll put this one in this side right here. 
we have two more promos. We have Shining Celebi, the remade one, just like Lugia. Over there. And finally, our... Oh, okay, this one is not cooperating to uh, be removed. Let's try it this way. I don't want to damage this one. Oh, this one is full art, very textured, OOGX Rainbow Rare. I like it. I don't quite understand how to use GXs because I've only played in the era when we had EX and not GX. So, um, yeah, GX and Break are very unfamiliar for me. But uh, I still appreciate the artwork and the details on it. It's very beautiful. It reminds me of Yu-Gi-Oh! Ultimate Rares. Uh, for you guys out there who want to get a free code, well, here is your chance. Scan it or type it. Do as you please as long as you use this because I will not use it. I don't use the uh, codes for online Pokemon. Enjoy it, guys. It's yours. Now let's get to the packs. We have Mewtwo, Mew, Genesect, Rayquaza, Mewtwo, Genesect, Rayquaza, Mewtwo, Mew, and Genesect. So three Genesects, three Mewtwo's. I guess we'll start with Genesects, right? Actually, we'll do it like this. This, 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 and that. So I believe from my past experience that these packs all have a foil in them. I'm not quite sure, but I believe it should be so. I might be wrong, but I might also be right. Stay tuned to find out. Oh, we have a Litten. That's nice, but that's not how we'll proceed. Okay, well, that kind of ruined the punch. But hey, we have another card with a promo. Scan it, use it, type it. Do as you please, guys. One, two, three, to the front. I think it's an energy. It is an energy. Cool. And let's go. We have a Scrafty, an energy retrieval, double colorless energy, Litten, Shroomish, Quillfish, Ivysaur, Torkoal. Oh, we have a uh, reverse foil Pokemon Breeder. Looks cool. And we have Shining Jirachi. Nice. We have a Shining. I think these are rarer than normal foils because they're actually textured, just like the promos we've had. Nice. Very cool pull. And it's not a promo. It's a rare foil. I like it. Nice. If we can do that with a shiny Rayquaza, this would make the whole opening epic for me. I would finally be able to get a um, new version of Rayquaza compared to my older Pokemon cards, which I don't even know if I kept enough of each to actually have any uh, rights to call it a collection. But here we go. That's a very cool start. We have a Shining for our first foil. Very cool. Oh, this pack did not want to cooperate. Okay, so we have a code for you guys out there. We... Put three in the front and one energy. I think it's metal again. No, it's fighting. Cool. And let's start this. Car uh, Carnivine, Ultra Ball, Damage Mover, Plusle, Jinx. Oh, that's a very different artwork from what I remember, Jinx. Uh, Crocknaw, Scraggy, Larvesta, Volcarona, which evolves from Larvesta. So this is our reverse foil. And... Virision. I have no clue what this is. I believe this is a legendary because I think every pack comes with one. It must be one of the newer ones, but it's a foil. We'll take it. We'll take it. And our reverse over here and everything else over there in the back. Final pack of Genesect pack. Uh, you know what? I'll open this one differently. Let's see if this brings us any luck. If we can get anything more than just foil, but like at least, uh, you know, something big, that would be very sweet. We have another code for you guys. We have a, oh wait, it's three to the front. Energy. And let's get this started. Carnivine again. Sophocles. Lily. Crotnaw. Jinx. Plusle. Toracat. Totodile. <laughs> this is a very similar pack. Uh, Ultra Ball, oh, this is nice. Ultra Ball Reverse Rare, and Shining Arceus, you've got to be kidding me, nice. Nice. We have two Shining Foils. So there's a difference between Shining Foils and non-Shining Foils. You see, these ones don't have any texture, and it's the background that's actually foil, 
not the Pokemon, but the new Shining cards. The background is not foil, but the actual Pokemon is foil. This is great news. This means we've got two very good um, foils up to now out of, out of our first three packs. Definitely glad about this. We'll put this one here. So to keep enough space for more Shining or better cards. I don't know exactly if Shinings are worth much more than other stuff, but I would assume they are. If they are giving some as promos, that means that they do have some value or interest for the players. So yeah, let's start with our first pack of Mewtwo. Oh, the code. Code given. Three cards, one energy, and let's get started. Switch, Venazor. Arbok, Bulbasaur, Pikachu, which is not the same artwork as the promo, by the way, guys. Uh, Buizel, Totodile, Toracat again. We have Croconaw as a uh, reverse foil, and we have our foil, which is Latios. Nice, I like Latios. That was from my uh, time, basically. I like it. Nice artwork, and we have a Latias on the back. Oh, this looks like the one in the, the movie back then. You know, they... they, they they were kind of racing sometimes in the movie. It's been a long time since I've seen it. But, you know, there was a scene about something like that. Next, Mewtwo Pack. Mewtwo Packs. Oh, this one, we can see, does not want to cooperate. Come on, Pack. Ah, geez. Why won't you cooperate? We've been very polite up to now. Jeez. It's coming along, but... There we go. I don't want to use scissors because I'm not familiar with the sizes and everything, so... I'd rather use my fingers for opening these packs. We have another code for you guys. Enjoy this. We have three cards to the front and one energy. Not a lot of variety over there in the energy department. Uh, Super Scoop Up. Energy Retrieval. Warp Energy. Ivazor. So we have Bulbasaur, Ivazor, and Venazor. So we have the full family. That's pretty good. Oh, what? This card's damaged? No way. Are they all damaged afterwards? No, only it. So the actual company has one card damaged in the pack. And it's actually a very useful one. That's sad. Quillfish. Shroomish. Litten. Larvesta, Carnivine, we haven't seen enough of it, apparently, and Marshadow. So this, I believe, is a uh, legendary nowadays. I don't quite understand the point of this being a legendary, but I guess that you could say, uh, you could argue the same thing about, like, Celebi and Jirachi. I mean, they're little puny things. But hey, we got a foil, which is probably standard in every pack in this set. But it was a Marshado, which is not standard for every pack in this set. Can't complain. We have our next pack over here, which is the final Mewtwo pack. We have our code and uh, three cards to the front. One energy. Oh, fairy energy. Variety, variety. Sophocles, Incineroar, Spiritum, Totodile, Buizel, Pikachu again, Bulbasaur again, Torkoal. Stunfish. So it's like a stingray, but it's a fish or something. It's like a thunderfish. Just like a uh, la lantern or something like that. Okay, well, whatever it is, it's interesting, to say the least. And we have Hoopa. Hoopa. I've never seen this one before, but it is probably a legendary. And it's foil, so we'll take it. There we go with you. Boom. We'll move them again to the right so that this time we can see the other cards in the picture frame. So we have four packs left. Let's start with Mew. Come on, we haven't seen any big foils yet. We have seen two Shining Pokemon, which is very cool. But we haven't seen any big stuff like EXs, GXs, or whatever you want to call those. I don't even know if there are any breaks in here. I don't think there are any breaks in here. I couldn't say honestly, guys. So, uh, let's see what we get. We have a code card. 
And one, two, three, to the front, and one energy. Water energy, more variety, good. Scrafty, damage mover. How? Draw three cards, eh? That's great. In Yu-Gi-Oh, this would be automatically banned. Jinx, Crotnaw, Scraggy, Larvesta, Gullet. We have Broloom. Oh, we got something. Oh, we have something big. We have Mewtwo GX. Oh, wow. Oh, damn. Wow. Okay. Okay. We have a full art Mewtwo GX. This is probably one of the bigger cards in this set. Holy crap, guys. Wow. So I have no clue how good this is, but I do know that this is very valuable and very foil. There's a lot of texture on it. The artwork is great looking. Wow, I'll try to bring the light closer so you guys can see more of the bling on it, I guess. I have no clue if this is good to play or just to collect, but this is insanely good. In value, at least. Like, GXs are already more valuable than ordinary cards, but Mewtwo is already a fan favorite, and it's just such a powerful full art card. Oh wow, we still have three packs left, and basically we just asked for a GX, or a very good card in general, and we got one. I don't know if there are any EXs in this set, I don't know if there are breaks in this set, but if we get any other big foil, like more than a shiny, this opening would be legendary. Like, not just legendary Pokemon style, but legendary, like, epic, godly. If we get anything big anymore ex gx i don't even know if there are breaks again but if we get one of those that would be insanely cool if we get a shining i would still be glad especially if it's my friend rayquaza if we get a rainbow that would be out of this world like out of this world we have another code for you guys oh wow one two three to the front energy leaf energy Variety. Uh, leopard. 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 Whatever. Energy Retrieval. Glurk. Glurk. Zoa. Uh, Golet, which is the baby of Glurk. Okay. Larvesta. Scraggy. Crocknaw. Ivazor, which is now a reverse. And we have something big again. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Nice. Oh, wow! So, I don't know if this is considered a full art, because, no, it's not a full art. But it's still a GX, guys. We got a GX. So, we have a legendary full art GX, and we have a regular uh, two-thirds, or whatever the name of this type of image is, GX with Raichu on it. Very nice! Oh, oh, geez. This, this is epic. We have great pulls. Only ten packs, and we have two... GX's to Shinings. Oh. Oh, geez. This, this is... This is insane. I can't put these anymore. I guess I'll put these this way and move this little guy in front over there. There we go. Wow. Wow. Oh, wow. I like this. We have two packs left, guys. If we get a Rayquaza or anything big... I'm, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I, I, I have no clue what I'm going to do. I don't know how I'm going to react. First pack of Rayquaza. Let's do it. Let's see if we can pull any more magic out of these packs. We have one more code, guys. One more after this one. Three to the front. One energy. Fire energy. More variety. Does that mean anything good? Switch. Carnivine again. Electrode. Zoa. Burloin. Litten. Voltorb. Broloom. We got Pikachu as a reverse, which looks very nice. And oh, we have Oopa again. Okay, we'll take it. I mean, two Oopas. Funny how since the previous Oopa, we've only had good foils, and then we get another Oopa. We have our Pikachu, which is a very nice looking reverse right here. Very fun. And we're down to our final pack, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this vid because it's been going on for a while, but there was a lot to review. A lot to open and a lot to review. But we got a lot of good stuff too. Can't complain about that. We have one more code. And this is the final one. So let's see if we can get anything. We have a energy. Oh, these seems to be a, a little hurt on the corner right there. Super Scoop Up. Scatcher. Incineroar. Pikachu. Jinx. Shroomish. Minun. 
cool fish. We have lily, which seems to be uh, very not, well, it's, it's poorly cut. Like, the top is way thinner than the bottom. And our final card is Shimon, which looks pretty nice, actually. We won't complain about that. So, quick recap, guys. We'll go over our reverse foils first. We have Lily, Pikachu, Ivazor, Breloom, Stunf uh, Stunfish, Carnivine, Crotnaw, Ultra Ball, and Volcarona, and Pokemon Breeder, which seems to be pretty standard, I guess. I, I don't quite know the value of these, but they look pretty decent. We have Shaman, Hoopa, Hoopa times two, Marshadow, Latios, and Verizon, or Verizon, I guess you could call it. I don't quite know, but Verizon is the name of a company, so pretty fun. So we have our actual good pulls from the set. We have two shining Pokemons, Jirachi and Arceus, which honestly, I believe this one is one of the more sought after. And this one is just pretty cute, let's be honest. And we have two GXs. We have one regular Raichu GX, and we have one full art Mewtwo GX. Wow, the luck we've pulled. Wow. This will look insane in a binder. And we have our promos, which will also look pretty insane in a binder. Two Shining, one Pikachu, and one OOGX. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please... Please tell me if you want to see more uh, Pokemon openings. Now that we have a mat and we have some stuff worth putting in the background, I guess. Uh, maybe not going to use these boxes because they do take some space. But I might keep one or two in the backgrounds uh, for future vids. But still, now we have a, an actual setup for Pokemon vids. So please, if you want to see more, please mention it in the comment section down below. Or like the vid. That is also a good way to show some support. And until next time, guys, it's been a pleasure. I hope to see you there. And Panam out. Yeah.